If you enjoy this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you never miss out on another absolutely fantastic review. Enjoy! Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing Sentinel Realbot number 19, The Iron Giant. The Iron Giant comes from the 1999 film The Iron Giant. In the film, a giant alien robot crash lands on Earth. Sustaining damage to his head, the Iron Giant loses his memory and forgets his primary objective. Late one night, a young boy named Hogarth encounters the Iron Giant and soon after they become friends. Now, Hogarth must figure out a way to keep the Iron Giant hidden and teach him the ways of Earth while trying to avoid the US government. Be sure to check out the 1999 film The Iron Giant, it is absolutely fantastic. Sentinel Realbot number 19, The Iron Giant, is another fantastic release in the Realbot line. The Iron Giant has a fantastic sculpt, paint apps, great accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. Let's jump right into it and take a look at the Iron Giant himself. The Iron Giant has a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right. The mouth can open up. The shoulders can rotate a full 360 degrees. The arms can come up a little bit higher than 90 degrees. We have a bicep swivel. We have nice single jointed elbows. So if you see here, we bend the elbows that comes in about this much. We can actually increase the bend by pulling down on the forearm and now we have a very nice bend here in our single jointed elbows. The fists are on straight pegs with a hinge at the wrist so we can tilt and spin these very freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. We can also pull up here in the waist with a click and now the Iron Giant can lean even further forward, further backward and lean side to side even more, which is definitely very cool. Moving out to the legs, the legs can actually rotate a full 360 degrees. Now the leg may pop out of socket, but it can be done. They come up the sides this much. We have a thigh swivel. We have very nice double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. And if we spin around to the back of the feet, you'll see we have a very cool piston design going on. So it moves in and out and all around when you're moving these feet, which is pretty cool. And then finally, the toes are articulated. The Iron Giant has a surprisingly sturdy and heavy feel to him thanks to his die cast content. Here are the die cast parts from what I can tell. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, the Iron Giant is absolutely fantastic. First, let's start with the head that has a smooth sculpt with a gray metal paint app. This gray metal paint app is used throughout the body. We have a semi-sharp head fin going down the center of the face. On the top left side of the head, we have our signature dent. The eyes have a large simple sculpt with an off-white paint app. The jaw has a smooth pronounced sculpt with large rivets at the hinges. The top of the chest and traps have a nice mechanical sculpt with various embossed accents and vents. The chest has a large smooth geometric sculpt lined with rivets going around the upper and lower chest. The abs have a coil-like sculpt with matte black and gray metal paint apps. The shoulders have a nice disc-like sculpt with silver impressions on the shoulder joint. The biceps have a very skinny sculpt with a gunmetal paint app. The forearms have a smooth geometric sculpt. The hands have a very nice robotic sculpt. Going around the waist, center of the crotch, and hips, we have more rivets. The hips have a nice disc-like sculpt with several mechanical impressions. 
The thighs have a very skinny sculpt, just like the biceps with a gunmetal paint app. The shins have a smooth geometric sculpt with various panel lines. Behind the shins leading down to the feet we have some very nicely detailed pistons. The feet have a large blocky sculpt with detailed tread and various rivets. For accessories, first up we have our three alternate faces, teeth, and alternate jaw. The three faces have the same great sculpt that we previously saw. This time, the eyes are different. We have a set of closed eyes, angry eyes, and a pair of concerned eyes. The teeth and jaw have a nice large semi-sharp sculpt with a slightly lighter metal gray paint app. To set everything up, first remove the top of the head and then the jaw. Next, grab an alternate head, slot in the teeth under the head, slide the alternate jaw over the neck joint, and then finally plug the alternate head in. If you don't want to use the teeth, simply swap the heads with the normal jaw. Next up we have our two pairs of hands. We have a pair of fists and a pair of cupping hands, both with a fantastic robotic sculpt. The hands easily attach via a straight peg. Now for alternate faces and hands, we can mix and match them to create and complement our dynamic poses. Finally, we have our S mark with a gunmetal border, a metal gray body, and a red S in the center. To attach, simply slot the S underneath the chest. Once in place, this piece can actually rotate. Now, we can see the Iron Giant has chosen who he wants to be. Superman. Now that we have all the accessories out of the way, let's do some size comparisons. As a whole, the Iron Giant turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is very well done, the paint apps are clean and crisp, the accessories are great, and the Iron Giant is fully poseable. The only issues I have with this figure, I really wish the eyelids on the alternate faces had more of a darker paint app so we can better see the expressions. Also, it would have been really nice if we could have gotten a pair of alternate forearms and chest cannons for the Iron Giant's weaponized mode. Hopefully Sentinel will release a weapons pack in the future. As a whole, I really love this Iron Giant release and I absolutely recommend picking him up. Now how much does the Iron Giant cost? I imported my Iron Giant figure for $128, which is totally worth it. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see more Sentinel reviews or another absolutely fantastic review, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.